वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फाइव डैश ट्वेंटी सिक्स सो स्टेटमेंट इज अ सिलेंड्रिकल स्प्रिंग कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ रबर एनुलस बाउंडेड टू अ रिजिड रिंग एंड शॉफ्ट इफ द रिंग इज फिक्सड एंड टॉर्क टी इज अप्लाइड टू द शॉफ्ट डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम शेयर स्ट्रेस इन द रबर सो दिस इज द रबर एनुलस दैट इज बाउंडेड टू दिस रिंग रिजिड रिंग एंड दिस शॉफ्ट एंड वेन इज टॉर्क टी इज अप्लाइड टू दिस शॉफ्ट सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द maximum shear stress in the rubber so let's start with the solution so we know that uh, uh, shear stress is equal to shear force per unit area so you can see this is the shaft and if you draw the cross section of this shaft it will be like this the, there will be a center let the radius of this shaft is r and the torque t is applied that is clockwise so this torque t will be equal to this torque t is equal to force into radius so the force will be perpendicular to this this force so this torque t will be equal to f into r so we will get this f is equal to t over r okay and now you can see that uh, this is the area of of this shaft which is in contact with this rubber annulus so this area will be equal to 2 pi r square into h this is a cylindrical shape clear so two area of cylindrical is 2 pi r square in 2 Two pi r h, sorry, two pi r h. So two pi. Let me correct it. It will be two pi r. Two pi r is the circumference, and h is the thickness. Clear. So this area, shear area, will be two pi r. Now we know that shear stress is equal to shear force per unit area. So shear force is T over R, which we have find out, divided by two pi R into H. Again, if you simplify it, it will be T over two pi R square into H. Now this is the shear force for the shaft. Since it is connected with this rubber annulus, so you can see that shear stress is equal to T into um, T divided by Two pi r square into h. So here we have rubber having outer radius is r naught. Outer radius is r naught, and inner radius is r i. So if you put r naught over here, so t will be equal to t over two pi r naught square into h, and that will be. Make minimum shear stress, and if you put R is equal to R I, so you will get the shear stress which is equal to T over two pi R I square into H, and that will be the maximum shear stress. Why? Because you can see in denominator if you put R I smaller value, so the square of smaller value will be less also less so uh, below denominator will be the less one and up numerator will be higher so it will be the greater uh, maximum value as compared to r not so we have maximum shear stress is this one 2 t over 2 pi r i square into h and this was all about problem 5-26 i hope you have enjoyed it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching